How's it going everyone? It's Logan Anderson here, the owner of All Strong Fitness. We got another video today. What we're going to talk about is what the ACSM recognized as the top fitness trend for 2020. The ACSM top fitness trends is something that is done yearly by uh, local fitness professionals and essentially what they do is vote on numerous different health and wellness topics, whether it could be high intensity interval training, wearable technology, um, basically anything, um, online fitness, um, in-person fitness, just regular personal training, um, at-home training, all these different aspects are just uh, basically different niche things involved with health and wellness that have kind of evolved over the years. So every year to kind of show the progression and just kind of what's in the phase, they do this survey and essentially rank. Um, usually it's around 40-ish. I believe this year is 41 topics. So um, this year's topic, believe it or not, the top one was online fitness. And I'm sure that nobody is surprised with that, with the pandemic, that the implementation of um, local gyms doing a lot more online fitness stuff, uh, personal trainers who might have been more in person are moving towards either a hybrid or completely online model to kind of allow flexibility in gyms closing, but also to kind of mitigate that risk of contracting um, uh, coronavirus and obviously mitigating the spread of it. So really, really important stuff there. And I, I think it's, it, it really is amazing how stuff evolves over the years with um, just how the world is going and kind of what the economy is, is striving for and needing. Um, one of the things that I think is really interesting also is how like food delivery takeout has gone through the roof exponentially. Um, before the pandemic, um, DoorDash, Grubhub, um, Postmates, these types of things, they were still used, but not nearly as much. I'm curious to see if that'll kind of stay the course too. But anyway, back to the fitness thing. Um, I'm super interested to see how, again, online fitness takes um, into the next coming years as well, because I believe the article it said on the ACSM website actually stated that online fitness was around 17 out of the 40 ranked last year, but for this year is on the top and it actually beat out wearable technology, which has been um, pretty high up there on the list for quite a while. So it'll be really interesting to see where it goes. I personally believe that online fitness and just in-home personal training and in-home gyms where people go out, buy stuff and bring it to them is going to be definitely the way of the future. It still definitely does not be that kind of atmosphere of going to the gym. I have certain reasons why I like going to the gym too. Um, even though I don't even talk to a bunch of people, it's still nice just having people around you and kind of the chatter, the environment. Um, it's totally different. At the same time, though, I do like having a home gym as well. This gives me a lot of flexibility with time. Um, so I don't have to spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes out of my day driving to and from the gym, kind of the whole process. I can literally go down to my basement, start lifting and stuff and be done um, in a super efficient time. So We'll see how this thing goes. Um, let me know what you think going forward with the fitness trends. Do you think online fitness is here to stay? Do you think it is going to kind of take a back seat? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, let me know what you think. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.